Um, I think of mathematics as a vast, uh, you know, ocean filled with beautiful islands that we call theories. And, you know, um, really like trying to learn mathematics is like trying to swim in this uncharted, you know, so maybe partly charted, partly, vastly uncharted territory. Lots of mathematics students, mathematicians are all in some sense swimming in this, trying to find the most beautiful island or trying to go to the island that we previously visited, you know, like the textbooks when you learn, you're going to, going to that island that was previously visited. And it's a beautiful place out there, you know, once you get into that mind space of the mathematics ocean, it's like a beautiful space. One of the ways in which we survive as mathematicians, you know, as students in mathematics is that we often luckily find a guide, you know, we find, we find in my, in my story, for example, when I was young, 10th or 11th, we had, I had P.N. Subramanian sir, one of the teachers who taught me and who mentored me into mathematics, who taught me the right way to think about mathematics. And if it was not for him, there is no way I would have learned mathematics is what it is, I'm pretty sure. And oh, in fact, he teaches in CFL right now, but you know, earlier he used to come to my school and teach and stuff. Now, one of the things is that in the past few years, my advisor, when I'm doing a PhD, uh, has showed, opened my eyes towards what mathematics is and shown me much more beautiful theories, much more, uh, you know, in, in this ocean, you know, many more things in this, beautiful things in this ocean. I uh, think that to study mathematics, you need a guide, you need a mentor, you know, someone who shows you how to swim in these oceans, you know, what, how does one get to these islands, what are the strategies used and so on. So I, I think that in, in CFL we have had many, many students who have actually performed well uh, on Olympiads and who have gone on to pursue mathematics. In fact, to name a few, uh, this year just, you know, you had Murlidhar and, uh, you know, Shreya Sadiga who qualified IMOTC. In fact, uh, Sh Shreya Sadiga also uh, got honorable mention at APMO. Uh, in our previous years, we had Anish Abbar, we had, uh, you know, um, Aditya Prakash. So CFL has had a history of producing top quality math students who I think could go on to become great mathematicians, uh, you know. Uh, and... The thing is, I don't think it happened in a vacuum. It happened because there were great mentors here. I also have mentored some of them, uh, or PN Subramanian sir, when he's around, has mentored people. I think that after so many years of experience, I can certainly say that if there is a brilliant student that you know, or if you are watching, you think you're good at mathematics and you get mathematics, I think you should just not sit there in your room. You know, you should go find a mentor because finding a mentor and finding those group of people who can do math with you is first of all, a bliss, but more important than that, it allows you to grow and it allows you to jump into this mind ocean of mathematics and discover beautiful, the beautiful world and the beautiful, you know, uh, ideas of mathematics surrounding into these oceans. So I think the main idea that I'm trying to say here is that all of you, if you know some person who loves mathematics, please find a mentor.